Welcome back. Uh, going to court is intimidating and it can really be a costly process, but for so many getting the help or services they need means pleading your case before a judge. That is where our West 2 community champion comes in. Legal Aid Society of Orange County is a free service for those who can't afford a traditional attorney. They help in everything from family law to housing issues. Do you know what else has four eight legs? Mm -mm. Spiders. It was never even a question for Andrea El Maluki. Within months of fostering King, Carter, and Elijah, the longtime foster mother and her husband fell in love. Unfortunately, their mother wasn't able to um, do enough to get them back. Um, and so they are, went up for adoption and we adopted them. The immediate connection, undeniable. Elijah um, Amar, he is four. He just turned four yesterday. And this is Carter. He turned five today. And then we have King, who's seven. He's in the first grade. He likes Japanese oh, animation candy. and drawing. You want candy? Oh my goodness. May I have one? Yeah, it's your birthday. We'll get some candy in a little bit, okay? Please. It is the fourth year Carter will be celebrating his birthday in this home, and the first since he was legally adopted, a journey that the Legal Aid Society of Orange County helped navigate from start to finish. Andrea's case is, it's the reason we practice law. It gives us so much hope. Established in the early 1960s, the Legal Aid Society of Orange County provides free legal services to those at 125% of federal poverty guidelines and below. While in the foster care system, the organization checked in on King, Carter, and Elijah regularly, even stepping in to help when Carter needed occupational therapy. And dependency cases aren't their only focus. <laughs> Housing cases took center stage when COVID crippled parts of the economy. The pandemic brought callers and emergencies like we've never seen before in our lives. Executive Director Bethany Barber says the organization launched a virtual housing and advice clinic in response, manned by staff and volunteer attorneys from the Orange County Bar Association. And Barber says family law cases, consumer law cases, and immigration cases also keep them busy around the clock. We average about 10,000 requests for assistance on an annual basis, and those are calls that we help with. The numbers that we help with and refer to our other partner organizations are around 15,000. The office itself boasts 50 full-time staff members, but around 1,600 to 2,000 volunteer attorneys in Orange County dedicate their time to help the organization serve the community as well. A powerful purpose driven by community need, and the need for legal help never Hello, stops. Ready? Yes! But the rewards make the long hours all the more worth it. When you help children who have never had a permanent home have a permanent home, when you help a veteran discharge debt, when you help a senior citizen have stable housing, there is nothing better in this world. And that's what we do every single day. Spending the day with that family was such a treat. Many Florida counties have their own legal aid society to provide pro bono legal services for those who can't afford them. We have the links to them on the Community Champions page of WESH.com along with this story. All year, we're spotlighting people and groups who are working to help uplift our community. If you know someone who should be a WESH2 community champion, nominate them either online at WESH.com or send an email. The address is on your screen, communitychampion at WESH.com.